Hi, everybody. Um, we'll come to Mark from the Press Association. Hi, Mikhail. Um, we saw Claudio Ranieri was unhappy after the game uh, that the ball wasn't given back to his side leading up to the goal. He just told us and he felt it was a lack of respect from your players. What did you make of the whole situation? I have to define my players, my team and my club. I would say that we are the most honest for all of them. And at some stages, we can even become naive. But still, if he felt like that towards our club, our team, I have to apologize if that's the case. But for sure, there is no intention to take any advantage of that. Just a misunderstanding or? I don't know, but I focus on the performance and what we want and don't divert it. Because uh, I want to talk about what we did and what we deserve completely to win the game. In terms of the performance, uh, when you went into the, the first international of the season, you, your club were bottom of the table and there were questions over your future. Um, what, what did you say to yourself during those times and what did you change to bring around this, this turnaround in form? I told you, I think um, it was about what I could see around me and the faith that the players and the staff have in, in what we do, um, the belief, the sense of belonging that they have um, to be a part of our team and the unity that they showed in difficult moments, not to try to point to anybody to take full responsibility and show their leadership and their courage to overturn the situation and face the criticism because it's part of football and, um, and move forward and slowly try to engage some people and then be lucky because we had some supporters that they showed in difficult moments that they love this club so much and they realize how important this is for our players to have them um, playing the game with them. And with that happened, you can see what uh, the atmosphere is like. And just finally, um, Pierre had a bit of a, a tough afternoon, missed the penalty. That's two out of two he's missed now. Will, will he stay on penalties or will you have to, have to look at maybe giving someone else a shot? He will stay on penalties if he's happy to do so. Um, you will miss if you take penalties as part of your career and, and the job and, uh, and try to help him. Thanks, Mark. Art. Hi, Mikhail. Uh, Ainsley played quite well in midfield today. I know he's played in midfield for you throughout the season. What have you seen from him in that position that you didn't see last year? Well, first of all, because I see a different um, player in, in terms of his urgency, his commitment, his clarity in the play, his purpose. And, um, and since uh, we made a decision, I was clear with what I was seeing that I wanted him to stay it was going to be useful. He has um, a huge talent, which is that he is versatile enough to adapt to any position almost on the pitch. And, um, and today we made use of him um, to do what he had to do in the game, which was really important. Can you talk about that clarity in his purpose? What, what do you actually mean by that? Um, when I see him in training session, when I see how he prepares, and when I see in the question he's asking, his level of activity, attention to everything that you talk through. His response is immediate. He's a really clever boy, really clever, really intelligent boy. And, um, and I think he has a need to be able to transmit that and how much he cares uh, with his body language and his determination. And I think he's, he's come a long way. And just on, uh, Jim? Okay. Jim? Yeah. Hi, Mikel. That's 10 games unbeaten now in league and uh, cup. I suppose the morale in the Arsenal dressing room now it must be on a high uh, where it was in a month ago. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's much, much better. And it's always great for any manager or team to win before international break because now we're going to lose 70% uh, of the squad. They're going to go to the national teams. And uh, hopefully when they are back, we'll maintain that and, um, and keep going the run. And finally for me, Mikel, uh, in times in the past there, when things were, were going against you, were offside goal, penalty, maybe you wouldn't have been able to eke out a result. Those setbacks went against you there today, but still you were able to win and eke out a result. That must show that the team has confidence to go to the full 90 minutes and whatever setbacks happen in the game, that they can bounce back from them. I think it was really important today uh, to be clear that we had, we were going to have moments of frustration. Um, we expected a certain... A game plan for them uh, that is going to happen and you have to go through that and you have to be consistent and determine with what you want to achieve in the game, the type of actions that are necessary to win the match and keep going. And we never lost sight of that and my opinion this is why we won the game. Charlie? 
Hi, Mikkel. Uh, congratulations on the win. I uh, just wanted to quickly ask um, about Nuno Tavares and Kieran Tierney. Uh, both great left-backs, but Nuno is playing very, very well at the moment. Is Tierney still very much the first choice, though? Well, Nuno is playing because um, he deserves to play. He's been exceptional in all the performances that since he's been given the opportunity. But I cannot say anything different with Kieran. Kieran has been superb for us. Kieran has been injured. He came back two days ago to do the first full training session. And this is what we need. Two top players that are um, raising the level in the position. And, um, and I'm happy with that. And lastly, last question for me. Uh, Smith Rowe has been obviously in excellent form as well. But do you think the England call-up was too soon? But do you feel like the performance today uh, was more of a response to Gareth Southgate not picking Emil? Yeah, Gareth made the, the call. He knows Emil really well. And, um, and I'm sure he's got a plan for him. And um, very important in football to be patient and go step by step. And when you make that a step, reinforce it and make sure it's a secure and safe step before you make the, the next move. Thank you very Simon. much. Thank you. Hi, Mikhail. Just a, just a quick one. Obviously, there was no Thomas today. Um, are you expecting him to go with Ghana for international duty? And has a decision been made on whether Tierney will, will go with Scotland? Let's see what happened with uh, Tommy. Um, he wasn't able, available to play today. Um, he's got an injury. He's a muscle injury. And, um, and we don't know how it's going to evolve. So let's take it day by day. And Kieran with Scotland is planning to link up with them or will stay off? Kieran is going to go with the Scotland. He was fit. He's training right now outside the stadium. Yeah, inside the stadium, sorry. And uh, and he will be available. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.